If you saw my last video on this channel, you would have pretty much seen how I broke my very reliable MacBook Pro from 2010. Although I went on to build a desktop PC out of it, but it turned out that things were not as seamless as I thought. So here I'm back again to eBay searching for a solid, cheap or reliable laptop. It took me a few minutes to realize the laptop trend on eBay was heavily in support of the Lenovo ThinkPad T480. This laptop seemed to be selling like white fire. At first, it wasn't really surprising to me, given that Lenovo was obviously a big name when it comes to business laptops. But why the T480? At this point, I was already being drawn slowly into the rabbit hole of the T480. I went on to Google to find out more and realized that this bad boy T480 was pretty much one of the few last models that still offered a lot of hardware upgrade possibilities. And given this was a laptop from 2018, it had a pretty decent quad core CPU and more modern hardware options like the USB Type C charging, USB 3.1 ports, internal and external batteries, just to mention but a few. Okay, at this moment, I'm obviously sold on the T480. But then, why is this laptop so cheap on eBay, considering all the excellent or should I say unique features this laptop boasts of? Well, it turns out that this is the second wave of this laptop hitting the used market. The first wave was about 2020, there about the time the new T480 was just coming out of warranties. So they dropped on the market, firstly in excellent optical and technical grade conditions, pretty much like new laptops, and given that they were mostly coming out from rollouts from corporate organizations which had bought them at the time. But the problem was these grade A laptops were pretty much expensive, selling as much as $600 shipped. So fast forward to 2023, five years later, you can pretty much get the same configuration that once sold for so high for as low as $289. Very affordable, I would say. At this point, it was deal for me. I decided I was going to order one for myself to enable me to take a closer look, as well as obviously replace my MacBook Pro, which at this point has become totally unusable. It took a few minutes for me to search out one on eBay and go Going from the seller's description, this was rocking an Intel Core i5 H350U processor, an 8GB RAM, a 256GB SSD, full HD display, and the list goes on and on and on. Although the RAM and the SSD size was really not what I would have loved to have, but then I was going to upgrade it anyway. But it happened that the upgrade wasn't going to be as easy as I imagined. <laughs> well, much on that later. So a few days later, my ordered laptop shows up. Decent packaging from the outside, I was more than excited to quickly open it up. And behold this much talked about Lenovo ThinkPad. Unlike previous models of the ThinkPad, which had charger with a rectangular connector that fits only on Lenovo's proprietary charger ports, the first thing you'll notice on the T480 is that it uses a USB Type-C power adapter, a technology that at this time recently trends amongst a host of recent devices. Although there is much more to be desired in the way the seller had used these bubble wraps here, but if the intention was to ensure the laptop is well protected, I can fully understand. So this is the Lenovo ThinkSensor T480. I would say I'm satisfied. The laptop is man, tip top. No obvious signs of use, pretty interesting for a five years old laptop. The hinges still fit tough and hold excellently well. Keyboard and touchpad all looking flawless. Point buttons still present and the full HD display all looking clean. Well, at least from what I can see. I should be able to confirm this when I finally switch on the laptop. But then, from the surface, this quad core Ultrabook has got a USB Type-C port, a USB Thunderbolt 3 plus docking port, which clearly offers a much more convenient method of connecting your Lenovo laptop to the ThinkPad docking station. Again, this is also clearly different from much other designs, where the docking stations were connected with the aid of docking station connectors located at the bottom of the laptop. And right here, we have the cooling vents as well as the smart card reader. On the right side is a card reader, an ROJ45 LAN port, two USB 3.1 ports, a HDMI port, as well as a headphone microphone jack. Although I'm impressed with the quality of this refurbished laptop, but like the saying goes, the taste of pudding is in the eating. Pretty much the same way, I can only tell you the quality of this machine by switching it on. So at this point, I popped on the charger and powered it on. I knew already that if the laptop by any way comes up, I was going to immediately go to the BIOS utility to see if the processor, RAM, and SSD configurations matches what was advertised. And here it is. Everything looking much the same. Obviously, there are still a number of decent sellers on eBay who will go to any length to ensure selling usable, reliable, and quality laptops at the best possible price. Like I said earlier, this model has two batteries, one internal and one external. And from this point, since I was going to be opening up the laptop to see how it looks inside, it makes a whole lot of sense for me to first deactivate the internal battery within the BIOS utility. And if for any reason you would like to open your Lenovo ThinkPad T480 with an internal battery, I highly recommend that you do this as well. Popping out the external battery was quite easy. All I had to do was push the battery clips to the side and then slide the battery downwards. In this way, I had access to this lightweight 24 watt hour battery. In 
Interestingly, with a combination of the internal and external batteries, this laptop holds up to 8 plus hours battery life for me while simply using it for browsing the internet. With the help of the Starhead screwdrivers, I was able to open up the screws. And it was from this point that things got a little bit out of control. You see, before proceeding to open this laptop, I had watched quite a number of YouTube videos. And each time the back cover was ever taken out, it appears to just come off after losing the screws and gently prying open the clips with a flat object. This was in my experience, bro. Firstly, the Lenovo ThinkPad cover is very fragile and the clips are terribly hard to push apart. With these two combinations, one thing is almost certainly sure. If you're an experienced hand in opening laptops like me, you might end up just breaking a few clips, which will pretty much not have any effect on the laptop. But hold up, if you're a rookie that simply wants to upgrade the SSD on this machine, then I honestly advise that you take this process with great care. Otherwise, one little force applied wrongly could easily ruin the back cover of this laptop. In any case, after a few minutes of fighting with my newly purchased laptop, I did succeed in opening it. But it however came at the expense of some few clips. As we can clearly see, the internal battery is right here. The cooling pipe as well as the fan is right here. Here are the RAM slots. On this machine is an 8GB DDR4 RAM. At the moment, I'm on the lookout for a good DDR4 RAM days on Amazon as well as on eBay. And as soon as I'm able to find one, I'm definitely going to be upgrading this to the highest RAM option possible, which Lenovo puts at 64GB. Within this laptop, a 256GB NVMe M.2 SSD is securely locked within the SSD card. I kind of found out that replacing the SSD is a bit tricky on this machine. The way I did go about it was to completely take out the SSD card. Mind you, there are no screws holding the card to the laptop chassis. So with the aid of a screwdriver, gently lift up the rubber band lining the SSD card. In this way, you can take out the whole unit. Then gently unscrew the metal plate covering the SSD. Given that the screws are really small and could easily fall off, using a screwdriver with a magnetic head would be the best way to go. And this is the SSD right here. From this point, unscrewing the one screw holding the SSD should be fairly easy and thereafter slide it out to remove it completely. In installing a new SSD, simply reverse the process and do ensure that the one screw holding the SSD is tightly screwed in place as to avoid any form of partial contact. Thereafter, replace the card in its compartment and give it a gentle push to ensure it's sitting properly in place. Apparently, this T480 model has an M.2 slot for a VVAN card, where well, this wasn't my main consideration before deciding to buy or not to buy this laptop. But given that I'm lucky to have received this, I have the two options of either installing an LTE modem, which will enable cellular connectivity to this machine or totally installing a 42mm NVMe SSD in which case I will have a backup drive for my device. Well, I will obviously be making a decision on this in the coming days. I am quite sure this laptop has never been opened. The laptop fan is pretty looking clean which is very impressive considering the age of this laptop. But in any case, I am still going to go ahead to use my dust blower just to be sure that whatever debris is building up is quickly taken care of. The CMOS battery is right here and like most laptops, unfortunately it's impossible to upgrade the processor on a T480 as it's firmly soldered onto the mainboard. But since this is rocking an Intel Quad Core A350U CPU, this processor is more than good enough for all my internet and office tasks. And for now, there's absolutely no need for me to consider a CPU upgrade. Closing the laptop was way more easier than the terrible opening experience. I aligned the back cover properly on the laptop and then pressed tightly on the edges until I heard the clipping sound. Screwed back the screws and then went ahead to replace the battery. Overall, I'm having a really great experience using the T480 so far. And sometimes, I cannot but wonder why I had to suffer so long using my headless MacBook Pro, when I could easily have gotten an easy replacement on eBay for $289. The keyboard feels so good and soft to type on. The touchpad is fairly large and highly sensitive, so something for you if you are a touchpad person. Although I hardly ever use the track point for any of my work, I have tested it out and find it to be very responsive. I'm still running Windows 10 Pro on this laptop and basically use it for majority of my everyday tasks. Given that this configuration comes with a 14 inch full HD IPS display, the much enhanced clarity, higher resolution as well as the overall visual experience keeps me all the way motivated while watching a ton of YouTube videos as well as editing a ton of YouTube and TikTok scripts. Until now, I have not tried this laptop on graphic or video editing. Although in a separate video, as soon as I am able to upgrade the RAM to 64GB, I will be testing it out to see how it can hold up while I try to edit and render my 4K video footage. So if for some reason you are in the market searching for a reliable and robust laptop, well I think the T480 might be worth you will want to consider. Understandably, these laptops are used and out of warranty. And as is quite typical of used electronics, the very good price point they come with will most certainly be at the expense of other things like the battery life, the optical and in some bad cases the technical conditions. 
So do ensure to do your due diligence before committing to buying one of these. So let me know what you honestly think in the comment section. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And until I see you again, peace.